All right, guys, I am back. I had to get the basketball, football, and hockey loaded onto this little small makeshift uh, YouTube studio desk I got going on right now. Uh, let's go with hockey. Not a lot of variety in hockey, but uh, mainly, again, boxes I was ripping uh, around the time of this order. So uh, some 1990 score hockey. I think I got a couple Com C cards on here. Um, I think that's it. I think it's just 1990 score. I think I got a few rookie and traded. So anyways, we'll see. Let me, let me start off with uh, Eric Lindros, future superstars, PSA 10. Of course, Lindros ended the factory set at card number 440. Uh, the Yagers from that year. Good to know PSA has not shut down 10s on this card. So this is the American version. So this would have been pack pulled for me. Uh, two PSA 10s. And two PSA 9s. I was looking through these. I got to check it out. But uh, it's hard to tell which one it is. But one of these, it almost looked like they got mixed up. At least centering wise. I want to say it's the one on the right, but one of these looked better than the tens. Can't remember which one it was. Yeah, this one. So see that ten on the right? I mean, it's still within what they would call. It's still with you know, it still falls into what centering would be left or right. But I almost think this one even looks better. Now that I look at it, yeah, okay. So they probably knocked it down. It's got the white corner and a tiny bit of white on the edge there and that one, but still I would uh I would keep this one in the PC and like I said, collect the nine, sell the tens. But anyways, uh for the for the Yager uh, American score rookies and then bilingual. So I didn't have any Canadian boxes of these, so these definitely came out of factory sets. Got the PSA 10 on the left and the 9 on the right. So that's kind of cool to have the bilingual ones also. Uh, Yager is still not retired. He is playing overseas still to this date. God, I think he's like 50 now. But yeah, one of these days he's going to eventually retire. And then five years from then we'll start counting down to his first ballot Hall of Fame induction. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is the rookie and traded set. Uh, this card's actually gone up surprisingly. Uh, these cards were not very valuable a couple, you know, like even a year ago. But I got two of the two in a PSA 10. Uh, I think I broke, I want to say I broke about five sets of these rookie and traded and got three copies that looked like they were worth submitting. So I got the two tens and a nine. So can't complain there. Uh, top to bottom's a little off. Looks like the edges. Yeah, see that little white on that right? And the white on the red. And even on the blue one again. So I think nine's a fair grade on that one. Really well centered though. Moving on. Okay, so like I said, the majority of the cards I grade, I, you know, especially for junk wax hair, I get out of pack pulled myself or out of factory sets. These are from Com C. I think I bought about 20 copies of his Upper Deck, uh, the American edition. And you're going to sell the difference right away. So we got a PSA 8. And again, I went through like 20 copies to narrow down to 3. And it looks like I'm starting the rainbow as I got the 8, the 9. And I did get 110, so you can find some... Hidden gems on Com C. Uh, you just gotta, you know, <laughs> unfortunately buy several duplicates and just kind of filter through them. For a card like this, I'll look through. Obviously, the only thing you're really gonna get is uh, centering on their website, and uh, you know you can zoom in and get some corners now and then. But you just gotta buy the best centered ones, and then out of all the copies, just kind of look at mainly of surface. Uh, I remember out of the 20 copies, like 17 of them were just scratched really bad and fair warning to anyone if you ever do try to 
grade cards off Com C, older cards I should say. At, at one certain point, they started actually putting in condition notes. Cards like this, again, I bought 20. It might even been more. It might have been closer to 30 copies of that card. And not a single one had a condition note on it. And like I said, 17 of them were just really scratched all over the front. So just fair warning. Um, at some point, they did eventually, you know, start noting cards. But it's hard to tell. So always be careful with older ones. And the Brodeur, his only true rookie card, the 1990 score. This card always reminds me of Kurt Schilling, who's uh, only Don Russ had his rookie card in the 89 set. I've pretty much given up on this. Uh, I told myself my last bulk order I was going to stop sending in his rookie cards because being his only rookie card, they control the pop on this one bad. Uh, four nines. If I remember right, my last bulk order that I sent him in, I think 2019, same thing. I think I sent like 10 copies, got 110, all nines. Uh, really well centered. Everything's within what, you know, PSA's website says is standards for tens, but let's, can't wait till AI, you know, eliminates that pop control BS. All right, moving on, uh, basketball. So this is, again, this is gonna be interesting. These first four cards, uh, let's see here. Okay, so these two pack pulled by me. PSA 10 on both. Uh, this Jordan, man, I think this was hovering around the 250, 300 range at the last peak of the market. Robinson, obviously not. Uh, rookie of the year, 90 hoops, but still uh, two pack pulled. Just really well centering. This is going to make a great home in someone's Jordan's collection. It's probably one of the best copies I've found. I've definitely, I've gotten a 10 in this card before. I think the last one I submitted, I got a nine, but again, pack pulled, went through probably 20 copies to find that one. And then the Robinson, same thing. Uh, really well centered. No edge surface or corner issues. And then these next two, okay, so this one is pack pulled. Okay, so that's another one. PSA 9, the 89 hoops, all star. Uh, definitely off left to right. You can see that right side's a little thicker. And top to bottom looks off a little too, but that looks like a really fair grade 9. Um, I think centering is the only issue that knocked it down. So that's three pack pulled cards. And then I'm going to show you the rest of these were all off of lots on eBay, and I got lazy on this. So this one, not bad. Uh, the 95 Collector's Choice. Another uh, great, pretty classic Jordan picture of posterizing someone. But yeah, this is what I was saying when uh, the difference between pack pooled and just buying, you know, 30, almost 30 year old cards off of lots. Um, there is five of these, I wanna say. I had them all down as nines. I wouldn't submit these if I knew they were getting eights, but again, I'll probably break even on them, make a couple bucks on each. But two eights and two eights. So a couple of them centering. Like I said, I submitted them knowing they, their centering would knock them down to a nine, but to get eights on these, it's kind of like, eh. She probably took my time. I was looking through a few of them just through the case and I did miss some surface issues so still a uh, big difference you can see from you know the gym rate I've got on this order so far compared in pack pooled or factory set compared to you know buying cards that have exchanged hands over 25 plus years big difference and same with this one got this in a lot off eBay looked good enough to get a nine got the eight so I don't know, I've always liked this card. I might just keep this in my PC. I used to have a PSA 10 of this card I graded myself that I sold right around the last dance. So usually don't collect eights unless it's vintage, but I don't know, still nice, nice eight. Can't complain. Moving on to football. Um, so I, I won an auction to, it was a factory case of 1990 score football. Uh, series one and series two and I got it for like 240 bucks and the guy wasn't like your usual eBay seller 
he had the shipping and keep in mind this is a factory case so we're talking 20 boxes you know and he had the shipping marked at four dollars like as if he was selling a card so i kind of i was expecting him to like you know cancel the auction whatever or try to hit me up for more shipping money anyways at the time um, I had just got the case in right, you know, a couple days before I submitted this order. So I opened one box just to kind of see what kind of condition the cards were in. Got a Barry Sanders out of the set. Uh, again, pack pooled. Gem Mint 10. Always loved this subset. Uh, the Ground 4 subset from the 90 score. Um, I have a future... I know, I know I have another bulk order out at PSA right now that I finally broke, you know, the majority of the rest of the case. So... There'll probably be 30 copies of different assorted cards. I know I got Bo Jackson in there, a bunch of other star players, but anyways, uh, PSA 10 on the Barry and PSA 10 on the Seau. So that's that's a really good sign, you know. I uh, like I said, you got 30 more copies of the same case, or excuse me, cards from the same case. It's good to know. Uh, I trust your judgment, and you know, just be thorough. Again, big difference, pack fresh. All right, so these last ones, these... Okay, so there's two at the bottom here. I'll go over these two real quick. These are the definition of, as Nolan over at Elico 3 would say, water into wine. Matt Forte, PSA 10. This is the upper deck masterpieces. This, I'm not kidding, was a 50 cent card on Com C. Uh, I don't know, it's probably only worth like... 20 bucks in a 10 but still you know in the card for 10 turn around and flip it for 20 uh this is what i've always loved about the not only the hobby but just grading in general i love the challenge of it and the strategies you can buy a 50 cent card you know pay nine bucks to get it graded and turn it into a 20 dollar card that's you know that's half the fun for me but yeah the i'm sure a matt forte fan will love that card and Another one from ComC, uh, definitely paid less than a dollar. Uh, serial numbered out of 9.99. Got the PSA 9, but still I can't complain. This is, I think he's a Hall of Famer. I think he'll get in. Um, you know, another guy that played alongside Ray Lewis, so didn't really get the attention that I think he deserved over the years. But you know, the Upper Deck Finite, uh, serial numbered out of 9.99. I might even just keep this card. I really liked Suggs. He was a hell of a player. Yeah, I really like that one. I'm glad I submitted those two. I kind of debated, you know, sending in the 50 cent Comsi cards, but. All right, so these last ones, um, there was nine total. And the quick backstory to this, well, I'll show you the card first so you know what I'm talking about. Oh, here, I forgot I pulled these out. So this is a perfect return time for these cards. Um, at my local card shop here in Albuquerque, um, the owner had, he always has like unmarked boxes sometimes in the back. I'll be like, Hey, you got any football I can look through? I found a team bag. These were unsleeved at the time. I sleeved these myself, but there was like, I think there was 18 copies total. Keep in mind when this was submitted. So this had to have been last July. So exactly a year ago, I knew I had a feeling he was going to get into the hall of fame first ballot with Manning. I was like, you know what? I should start looking into getting some Calvin Johnson cards and so yeah i went through 18 copies these were the nine rejects these are all near mint mint you know there's probably some nines in here maybe a couple eights but anyways i submitted nine of them i got let's see here so i got three of these um you know i'm always about you know taking care of the people that take care of you in the hobby and uh First thing I did when I got this bulk order in yesterday is I went to the my local card shop and gave the card owner, uh, the, excuse me, the shop owner, a PSA 9 of this, told him, hey, you know, these cards are going to get hot here in the next couple weeks. Sell this off, man. So I got three PSA 9s. And the rest were 10s. So very happy with these. Like I said, perfect timing. Get these back two weeks before the Hall of Fame ceremony. So, uh, and the interesting part on these were that you cannot find comps on these. Very rare. 
Um, I found, I think there was one copy that sold in 2021. I want to say it was early 2021. It was like around 90 bucks. But other than that, very old sale comps. Pretty low pop also. Um, but yes. Yeah, so anyways, I got six PSA 10s total of this card. The 2007 Upper Deck Rookie Premier. So very happy to get this back timing wise. And, you know, six out of nine gem. Uh, 67%. I'll take that any day. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for joining me today. I think I've got, you know, before PSA submitted or suspended lower level uh, submissions, I think I got like four or five more orders out with them. So now that I got the camera, I can definitely share some more with you guys. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining me today and be interested to see what you guys think you know uh what are your favorite cards in the order whatnot but anyways see you guys on the next video peace